Hey. So we have a full moon coming up on the 5th of October. It will be an Aries Libra full moon. So the sun will be in Libra and the moon will be astrologically aligned to Aries. So what's Aries? Aries is all about initiating new beginnings, starting something new, becoming the magician of our own lives, creating our own destiny and our own fate, deciding what it is that no longer works for us and centering ourselves with what we want to do with what we want to do. Okay. Um, we live in a world where other people are involved in our life and if we choose to have people distance from us or distant um, in our personal lives, well then, you know, we still have to deal with people at work um, because we do, depending on where you live, but most places on this planet, we need to work, we need to live, we need to eat, we need to do what we must do so there's people involved okay so this is an amazing time for um you to come to this awareness um and make changes okay because libra is all about partnerships and cooperating with people as a whole as a collective i'm not just talking about your family it can be involved your family can be involved your relationships and stuff but this is also about public things okay so public um, public awareness, public businesses, public people coming and going in and out, uh, business transactions, everyday life things. Okay, because I'm seeing a lot of conversations and opportunities um, from now until the next two weeks. Okay, because we don't have, we're still basically after the full moon, after we have a full moon in a sign, we're still literally in that sign, okay? Because it, it's wanting, the moon starts to want, okay? But we're still aligned into that sign. So it's just about, you know, kind of going back and after the full moon, a moon, the, the light of the moon is an awareness of something, an illumination, a full throttle. Uh, but when it starts to wane, okay, and get smaller, the light, um, we have to kind of, you know, let things be. Let the, uh, the other things start taking place, okay? Um, look into where you have Aries in your chart. Do you have Mars in Aries? Do you have your fourth house in Aries? Do you have your Venus, um, your rising, your moon, your sun? Um, also look into Libra too. Because they are polar opposites, so you want to see, you want to be able to look at, you know, the similarities. Um, and there are similarities, okay? I always look at the polar opposite sign of something. If I'm into a sign or I want to get to know something or some characteristic, I look at the polar opposite too because they're actually very, very similar. All right, so I will be giving you a tarot reading um, with the Babylonian tarot. Uh, deck that I have here as usual for the Aries full moon. There is um, definitely a lot of Arians that watch me that I'm connected to uh, because you know it is what it is. So we have the six of discs, pentacles card, money, assistance. Okay, like, hello, talking about uh, business transactions and talking about um, outer public things, okay? So, um, this is definitely a Taurus. It's a bull. Um, bulls are very hardworking, okay? Um, I mean, they can be lazy, but it's not so much that they're lazy. They're just all about, they know how to balance out um, work and play, Okay, because when they get into their work, they get into their work. And then when they want to play and have leisure, they just want to relax and, and allow themselves to be receptive to the fun or to the outer circumstances, which or, you know, whatever they're doing, if they're out, if they're, you know, at home, whatever it is. Okay, so it is the first earth sign. Okay, so bulls are tend to be known as like lazy creatures but um hello they're not necessarily lazy they just know how to freaking balance shit out okay six in numerology is also a, um equivalent to balance a number of balance it's um connected to venus taurus is ruled by venus aries is ruled by mars 
okay? Um, so there's the male-female balance, six, right? So we're talking about six, three, and three, balance it all out. Um, Libra is ruled by Venus as well, so we have a conjunct of uh, male and female uh, push and move forward and be receptive, okay? So within the next two weeks, pay attention to, you know, yourself. Um, are you getting enough water? Are you sleeping enough? Probably not. Um, are you having enough fun? Are you working too hard? What are you doing with all your money? Um, pay attention to who is offering you something. Um, pay, you have assistance there. There's always assistance around you, but a lot of us freaking push that assistance away, okay? Even if we receive like two minutes of um, uh, advice, a lot of people push that stuff away because they think they know everything. We all think we know what is best for us, but a lot of times, maybe a certain percentage of us do, but a lot of times we don't know, okay? Things are constantly changing. Um... But you'll know because you have the right people around you, all right? No cards are coming out, so... Oh, okay, I said that. Now all these cards came out. We have like, I dropped like five cards. The Emperor Marduk, number four, which is also symbolic of Taurus, number four. Um, and Emperor itself is a Taurus, Aryan Taurus card. We have the Magician, which I was talking about. There's the ram, number one. There's the ram, the horns. Also connected to like Piscean energies because um, the fish. So, you know, what ends begins because Pisces is the, is the last zodiac sign and Aries is the beginning. Oh gosh, yeah, these are too many cards. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, somebody's getting pregnant. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to pull out how I uh, turned it around. So, four of discs, security. Somebody's looking for security or is being offered assistance in terms of security. The queen of discs is here, also another earth sign with observations okay so um there's a libra or a taurus or virgo or capricorn four of arrows rest which is a confirmation of what i was talking about a little earlier 18 the moon sin and the babylonian um gods the sin was the god of the moon We do have the full moon in Aries. And Princess of Wands. A fiery woman. Okay, lots of ideas. Lots and lots of ideas. Partnerships, definitely I'm seeing. Um, people coming together. I'm also seeing somebody wanting somebody else more than the other. I don't know where that's coming from, but they're, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing a male-female connection. Somebody wants somebody else more. Or it could just be that the other person is really concentrating on other areas of their life and they don't want to think about romance and relationships. And another person is digging that about that person uh, because they don't really think too much, obsess too much about relationships, and that's what's appealing. Something along those lines, okay? These cards are literally just confirming um, what I was saying in the beginning, which is, you know, this is what you want, right? You know what you want. 
this is what you want and this is different to everybody okay this can literally mean your house this could be a foreign land this could be your business where you're working this could be a party that you go to although parties don't really symbolize security uh, you never know <laughs> things are connected people are connected okay um capricorn capricorn is also a sun that works very hard um maybe construction someone who's in the construction industry um you're thinking about your security or you need to look into some form of paperwork and be able to see uh, you know what's going in and out and if you want to be with someone you know you want to be that magician It's like as if you're starting off, although it's we got the Marduk card first, it's like you're contemplating on being a little more direct or balancing out, um, trying to be able to balance out rest, pushing and pulling, okay? Because the magician doesn't push things. The magician sits back sits back and manifests things and waits for them for it all to come to him so the water how it's receptive like it flows naturally like i mean he works his magic to make shit happen but marduk is all about um i want to say forcing but come on he's more about going after what he wants despite uh uh the fight for whatever he sometimes he doesn't even know what he's fighting for okay so i think it's like as if you're contemplating when you should do that and when you should be receptive only you know you know what you want you know what you're gonna get or you know what the out circumstances are and you're kind of like you know what you want right or who you want um but you're all about the timing thing okay so that doesn't have to be just relationships. That can literally be about growth in within yourself. Because we learn about ourselves through others a lot of times, okay? How are we going to know? You get really personal with people sometimes, right? So there's hope. I'm using the Le Les Vampires uh, Oracle card deck. I haven't used this one in a while. So there's hope. for this situation um it's number 43 so yeah there's going to be some contemplations 43 equals to seven seven is all about analytical thought if you can see her she's got a candle lit there okay and she's looking at she's feeling out the dead energy so the old we're in october now right so things are about to die things are slowly dying away withering away so you got to get rid of your fears okay or face them Face your fears and realize they're not so scary when you actually face them and, and you know, figure out what you want to do and don't want. So yeah, anticipation, bright prospects and wishes. What are your wishes? Make a wish. During the full moon, look out your window, make a wish. Light a candle, write some stuff in the candle or in, you know, like with something on the candle a symbol or something that means something private to you or a word or a phrase that would be really heightening your spirituality or a form of meditation stare at the candle flame if you have to um that will give you in a form of an illumination and open up and protect your third eye as well and give you some uh visual of something okay um if you kind of are looking or staring into a flame uh, long enough, you'll be able to receive some form of visualization of what's to come. Okay. Um, there's an outsider, a loner, a person who um, perhaps doesn't really fit in a category or home or with a group of people trying to find where they fit. They don't talk about it so often. This person, 22 is a master number, okay? It's, it's equivalent with the four energies, the, the card fours that we're getting, the security, okay? So there's a person here who um, is a misfit, doesn't fit anywhere, doesn't really communicate, oh, hey, I'm a loner, I'm a misfit. 
uh, feel sorry for me. Not at all. That's not, this person is not like that. They just, they don't really fit anywhere because they're a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, and when you're a little bit of everything, you kind of sometimes feel like you're outdoing or overdoing, um, you know, like you're shifting and you're changing and most people don't like that stuff. So, you know, there's a person, but this eccentric person or eclectic person is a very appealing to some people, okay? So if you're in sales or if you're in, like I said, public speaking or something, you have a gift. Um, and it could be that that's what this person is doing. They're like a public speaker or like to have a gift of gab or drawing people to them and their cause or their whatever voice that they have um, and I think they should stick to that because this person is great at it um, if you could see the globe it's kind of like or the it's kind of like the earth globe in her hands so she's kind of like I got the power to sway I don't fit with this group but I have the power to sway this group into this area and let them figure shit out because she doesn't figure shit out uh, she lets others figure it out, okay? She kind of knows what to, what the deal is. She doesn't really communicate it much, okay? And that can be appealing. We all have these characters within us, okay? We do. We just don't all embrace it fully. Sometimes it's not our purpose, right? Some people, maybe. Okay. Madness. <laughs> Ecstatic ritual energy release. This is definitely an Aries. It's a Taurus too, but it's definitely an Aries. Remember, Aries and Taurus both have horns, okay? Um, so their head is very... You need to protect your head. Um, it could be that you, you've been having some headaches lately. It's because of the mind, overthinking with the mind. Um... The first two signs, okay, is Taurus and, and Aries and Taurus, Mars and Venus. So work with um, natural herbs and remedies. I'm also seeing a few people getting into like Etsy or like online businesses selling like essential oils and products like that. Do it. Start it, continue it, do what you got to do. Okay, I don't know where this reading has uh, led most of us, but um, if it was entertaining or fun, give it a thumbs up. But yeah, I don't know. Aries is very, I feel like that, you know, old age of judgment is really, it is what it is, right? Like Libra is associated with balance law and like judgments and stuff, but we're kind of in a in an age now where nobody judges the way they used to. I mean, they do. You're gonna find groups of people, older crowd, or like depending on you know what what culture and ethnicity. But let me tell you, if you're living in North America, you'll find everything. Everything exists. So that's what I mean in terms of judgment. So you know, people have rights. People have this. People have that. So the judgments maybe behind closed doors. People have judgments, but out in public, it's not as how it used to be, right? So, um, you know, that card about that misfit. I think a lot of people in this generation, the youth, they all feel this way. Um, and um, it's actually, we're in, a, we're in the time where that's actually very attractive. You know, people that are into the cult, it's very attractive to other people now and day. You know, maybe a uh, hundred years ago, you'd get persecuted or like even in North America or whatever, you know, to publicly talk about that stuff or even be caught behind closed doors, you know. But whatever, it is what it is. People are drawn to difference, differences and um, just be it, own it, live it, experience life and do what you got to do. And that's what the Aryan thing is, you know, Aryan trait is all about me. I do this for me. Um, you know, if you like me, join the crowd, join my group, join my loner book club you know if not find your own okay do things on your own figure out your own stuff until you partner up with you know like the libra sun which is more awareness you know sun 
Sun is life-giving force. F moon is that receptive, internal, emotional, you know, homey, what you do behind closed doors. So Aries is, is, is you know, allowing you to be like, you know what? I'm happily into a cult. Like, I'm happily, I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I'm just going with it, okay? This is for everybody that's different. Or I'm happily, you know, ups, you know, in love with my... Uh, herb collection um you know my crystal collection and right now i don't really know anybody who can appreciate it but i appreciate it and until somebody else does show up which is the libra thing i'm gonna keep embracing me and or i finally connected with the right person or the right people and um we're all different we all have our differences but we all have one thing in common um aries one is we all love crystals or we all love tarot you must you're watching me um or we all love you know we all have an interest in the occult or philosophy so we get together once a month and we have our own little whatever it is okay anyways okay guys maybe at work there's a few of you that are into this shit but nobody talks about it get together have a good time have a glass of wine enjoy it and uh, see you on the new moon of uh, Libra. Bye.